Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am the creator behind Lily Rose Craft Room. And for today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to engrave on wooden coasters using the X-Tool S1. If you're into laser engraving, sublimation, DIY crafts, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications bell so you guys don't miss on any new videos. All right, let's get started. To start off, I'm going to be using the Craft Express Engravable Wooden Coasters. They come in three different shapes. They have the hexagon, they have squares, and they have circles. I am going to be using the circles. I tested the back, I engraved my name just to make sure I had the settings right. Next, I'm going to put my coasters inside my X-Tool S1. I'm going to put it on top of the honeycomb. And I know my honeycomb is very, very dirty. If you guys want a cleaning video, let me know and I'll make that for you guys. The X-Tool S1 does not have a camera inside, but I'm going to show you how I align it. Since these coasters have a marble part at the bottom, I'm just using the crosshairs to line it up to the line and make sure it's straight. Then I'm just going to align the rest of them and make sure they're all straight. And next we're going to move on to the computer. I'm going to show you where I'm getting my SVG from and we'll go from there. I'm getting my image SVG from my favorite website. It's called Creative Fabrica. And I love this website because you pay a monthly fee, a small monthly fee, and you get unlimited downloads for fonts, PNGs, SVGs. There's even classes that you're able to take. So many different things that this website has available and they have a bunch of laser projects. So I've been looking at those, searching for those. They've been coming in really handy with the X-Tool S1. I wanted a hummingbird design, so I searched in the search box hummingbird svg and it gave me so many different ones also i do want to let you guys know if you haven't tried creative fabrica and you want to try it out i do have a free trial in the link below in the description it's 10 free downloads or one month free whichever one comes first this is the design that i wanted to choose and i was scrolling down to see like what else was there just so many different i'm telling you <laughs> creative fabrica is just amazing so many different designs to choose from so I'm just going to download this design and then I'm going to meet up with you guys on Creative Space. So now we're on Xtool Creative Space and we're going to make a new project. So we're just going to simply select the green bar that says new project, click on that and it's going to give you a nice clean canvas. So we're going to upload the Hummingbird SVG that we just downloaded. So you're going to select the image icon on the left hand side. You're going to select that and you're going to go through the file and find the Hummingbird SVG. You're going to select open and it should throw it onto your canvas. Next, I'm just going to resize it. That way we can see the canvas and I'm going to show you how to make our markings for our four coasters. We're going to go over to our right hand side where it says start marking. You're going to click that and then we're going to select the polygon shape. We're going to select that and select start marking. And now we're going to go over to our coaster and I'm going to show you how to mark it. So I'm going to mark the edges of the circles. That way it knows what shape I have. So I'm marking, every time I mark, I'm pressing the button of the X tool. So at each point where the circle starts to extend a little bit, that's where I'm marking my edges. So I'm gonna mark and then I'm not gonna go back to my starting point because it will automatically connect it for you. So after every coaster that you mark, you wanna put end marking and then go to the next one. So I'm doing the left, the right up a little bit up a little bit more to the top corner and then the tippy top and then just again to the other side but don't connect it back to the bottom because it will automatically connect it for you and remember every point that you make you need to press the button to make that point so same here with the bottom ones I'm marking it the exact same way and you always want to remember once you're done marking each coaster or each thing that you have, you want to select end marking because if you just continue without putting end marking, it's going to think that you're still working on that same shape. And now we're going to work on the last coaster and this point system works really cool because like I said, the x S1 doesn't have a camera and I was a little iffy at first about it because I was like, I need to see what I'm working on, but this makes it very precise on what shape your object is and it makes it easier to just drag your design inside your object that you just made. 
and marking we're going to select end marking and then done and we also want to put our crosshairs in the center of our coaster because we're going to be doing the auto focus so on the right side we're going to select the crosshairs that says auto measure and it's going to auto measure the distance the distance between the laser and our coaster then it's going to notice that the distance value has changed so just select confirm and do the auto measure again just so it confirms itself and you can see the crosshair on the screen going back to the starting point and then it's going to come back so now that we have our coasters auto measured now we're going to resize our little hummingbirds to fit our four little coasters as you can see on the screen those are the ones that we marked so those are in place of where our coasters are so I'm just going to resize it to fit in the middle and then now once I have it resized I'm going to copy and paste it three more times so I can enter it into the center of the other ones. I'm just going to make sure they're all nice and centered before we move on to the next step. Next I'm going to highlight all of our designs and next we're going to enter our material settings. So we're going to make sure the processing type is set to engrave and we're going to select easy panel and the power that I'm going to be using is set to 80% power, 200% speed. We're going to set the lines per centimeters at 200 and our air assist is going to be set to number two but we're going to do that before we hit start on our laser. Next we're going to go up to process. And then it's going to give you a preview of what our design is going to look like and where. And it's also going to show us a total estimated time. And if you hit that play button, it's going to show you the laser path that it's going to take. Next, we're going to hit that green start button. And now we're going to head over to our laser, change the air assist to number two and start the project. So to change the air assist, you just simply want to turn the knob. And for me, I found that the settings work perfectly at number two. So that's what I'm going to keep it as. And once we change our air assist, now we are going to select the button on the x laser to start the project. Now I'm just going to let the laser do its thing, run its course. And I do have the vent hose going out the window. And if you don't have a window near you, you can get the air purifier, but it does need to be vented on either the window or an air purifier. So make sure you have that. If you're interested in getting yourself an X tool laser, please consider using my affiliate link down in the description below. With your purchase, I do get a little commission. So that really helps my channel grow and helps me make more videos for you guys. So please, please remember to use my affiliate link. I'll be forever grateful. Thank you guys. Now our coasters are finally done. I'm just gonna open up the lid and push back the laser and we can see the beauty of these. Look at the amazing detail on this. So it does have a little smoke, which is normal. So I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and I'm just going to wipe off the smoke from the coaster. And let me tell you, I was so amazed by this because the details on the hummingbird are like really, really fine and you can see how deep it is and it just it just looks amazing i'm gonna show you guys a close-up of it in a little bit but first let me get these all clean and i'm gonna show you guys after and like always here is the finished look and like i said i was amazed by this these came out so beautiful and I like the darker look of it. I know some people have different preferences where whether you like it a little bit lighter, darker. I like the dark look, so that's why I was playing around on the back of it. I put my logo, Lily Rose Craft Room, just so I could play around with the settings. That is it for today's video. If you guys watched it until the end, thank you so much. Show me by putting flower emojis in the comments below. And remember, if you're thinking of purchasing an X tool machine, please use my affiliate link in the description below. And before you go, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. It all helps me grow. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!